grey Atlantic waves break upon shores where voices of commerce merge with wailing winds and seagulls. A sleepy morning already busy with bargains between fishermen, fish sellers and throngs that come early to avoid middleman business in the form of cutthroat market prices. Morning sun, the beauty of gold on grey waters, the glory in the clouds. Wet feet made so by foamy waves as crabs run to and from holes, sealed, opened and sealed again on endless shore, dwelt upon by stubborn grass, coconut trees, ancient shipwrecks, with items the sea spits at high tide, canoes on the sea, men with nets, hunting on water for scaly prey while luckier ones conduct brisk business on shore amidst din of a row city. Busy beach road, curious folk scorn smell of fresh fish, even worse the sight of entrails as knife falls on hapless fish held by hands so greasy with blood enough to scare a man. The spectacle scares fishermen barely. As rowers adore with finesse, net throwers catch the tide as it rises, their faces splashed upon by its wide spray, the adventure, the joy of crowds. Some to watch canoes, others waves, that batter do not swim poles. Ah, on the child's face, swimmers on constant watch, for undercurrents, the mass of water, power to break necks, adolescents watch their fathers with pride as they pull as cool with their nets. Wives patient with baskets, praying a while their men battle water and wind. On shore, the old fishermen get witty. As circumstances bring back memories, a dangerous job that burned calories but never ceased to bring smiles upon faces of maidens who got forlorn whenever canoes had to go to sea.